Hi beauties. Good morning. Some lighting better in here. How are you? Just as the description said, today we are ready, set, and glowing. So this is my favorite tutorial to do and you will see why. So just as it says, my face is ready. As you can see, everything is on except for my cheek, but we're just gonna add a little bit of extra. Um, so first thing that I do, apply my lip conditioner just so that when I get to my lips, they're ready to go, okay? So what do you need for this tutorial? One first step is bronzer. Now, remember we used that blush and bronzer brush and I told you that we were gonna be coming back to it. So with bronzer, our bronzer is called Bella. She is also a cream and here she is right there. Very moussey like texture. Um, I've had her for quite a long time, but as you can see, a little bit goes a long way. Now I've had people ask, okay, or, or wonder if you can double contour for bronzer. And the answer is no, and here's why. Remember when we did our hack, I talked about how contour was a cool tone. Look at how warm Bella is in comparison to the contour. Much different, right? That's why. Bronzer is supposed to give you some sort of glow, a little bit more um, depth to your color rather than the contour giving depth to accentuate different areas of your face. So let's add some Bella. I'm just going to take my finger just as if I was playing finger art or doing a fingerprint. And where do I put her? So I always think about my vanity light being the sun. Where does the sun hit me? Because if you close your eyes in the dead of winter, you're going to be able to remember what the sun felt like on your face over six months ago. So I'm going to put her right here across my forehead. So remember we had our brightening highlight here and our contour up here. So I'm just going to tap her in. Okay. And then I still have some on my finger, so I'm gonna come right here, kind of like football lines, and a little bit on my nose. See how one fingerprint got me all of that? Then I'm gonna take my contour, and this, my neck is always stark white. Like my chest will be tan, my face will be tan, and then I have this like bright white. You'll be able to see it in my before and after. So it's, quite lovely. It's that Irish skin that just, that Irish skin just stays right here. So I'm adding a little bit of that Mediterranean skin for me. This brush and Bella are a bundle. I always recommend them together because Bella then only becomes $4 rather than $14. i am going to go where I started. I'm going to take this fluffy side. So this was our blush. This is our bronzer. Um, and feather dust. So just see again how that brush just conforms to the natural curvature of my face. And as I'm feather, not really putting a whole lot of pressure. Right? Tell me what you think in the comments about how this just warms up my face. Um, if you're catching this later, hashtag replay below so that we know you're watching. See how it just feathered us over? I cleaned my brushes last night. The only problem with that brush cleaner is that I want to eat my brush now because it smells so good. And so my cheeks are going to have that. It's kind of like where you would just get a little bit rosy. So there's some depth to my color, my warmth. I'm going to take this denser side and get my neck because... Um, that skin is just a little bit more taut and I want to make sure it blends and doesn't get caught. Okay, so now you can see that my neck color matches my chest color a little bit more, even though I brought my contour down. Okay, there's our bronze. 
Now what I'm going to do is set. Now I kind of did this a little bit out of order from what our description says, but there is a reason. I wanted to put that bronzer here under my eyes so that I could show you how I'm going to set under my eyes and then I don't have to go back and touch them. So our setting powder, our vanilla dust setting powder comes in a tin. It's an iridescent powder. Um, you probably have seen some that you would maybe use your fluffy end of your brush and bronzer and just kind of like put it all over your face. This one's a little bit different. I use the powder brush for this tutorial as well. This is going to be the second brush that I use. It has this doe foot side and this kind of, I don't know, caribou brush side. So with that doe foot side, it's going to, again, these brushes just fit right in my eye socket and then come down my nose and it just fits right all in there. What I'm doing is I'm setting the creams under my eye so that the cream will continue to move with me but not set and crease in my laugh lines. I love my laugh lines. I don't want to change my laugh lines. I don't want them to go away because I truly believe that they are the path of your life. Um, but just because I don't want to get rid of them doesn't mean that I want my makeup to settle in them during the day. So I went down my nose because this is going to help, uh, also not create a shine from any oily skin. So I always get a little bit oily up here. And then I'm going to go down my marionette lines because I want that makeup to move with my mouth all day since I have to talk the majority of the day. And we're set. Okay, let's talk about this brush being on clearance. And then uh, let's talk about this also as a bundle set. So we have the set part of our tutorial done. We have a little bit of our glow. So I had that bronzer on here, but now I've set that bronzer on and taken away some of that oil. And now we can move to illuminators. So remember how I talked about how in your current makeup routine, you probably or have seen or heard of highlights, which are probably shimmery powdery colors right? So these are our powder illuminators and these are our cream illuminators. As you can see, there is a counterpart to each. So I'm going to show you the difference between this one right here, Glamazing, and Pearl right here as two counterparts. The difference is between cream and powders, who should use what and for what look. So I'm going to start with Pearl on this side of my face. I like to do all of this before putting on my blush. You can do it after, so, but I do like doing it before. I'm going back to my powder, so my powder brush. So this is Pearl, and this is Glamazing. So you can see the difference. A little bit more of a sheen color to Pearl, sheen finish. Um, a little bit more of a shimmer finish to Glamazing. So obviously two different looks. I like to use that Karabuki end and just, look, you can't even see that product. So I put my bronzer right here. I'm going to kind of go up. So if I went in like an L shape, but following that highlight line that I brought up to create a lift and just tap her up there. So you can already see a little bit of sheen. For Glamazing, I would come, this is where I put my bronzer. She's just, just automatically as a powder going to be a little bit more prominent. And I really use my finger on this one. Let's see how she has a little bit more shimmer, sheen. Yes, no, yes, no. So it just depends on what look you want to use for. Um, I typically use creams for the work day and then like evening I use the powders. 
that are I'm feeling a little fancy. But here's the thing about the powders is they dual as eyeshadows as well. So I can actually take a little bit of Glamazing and tap her on the inside of my eye. And she's just gonna be a little bit of an accentuation to my eyeshadow look today. And I can also show you how I'll use her on my lips. The other thing that I can do is put her up on here. And here's why, on the arches of my brow. If you do not have an arch like I do, then put her above. But she's just automatically creating a lift. See how this shimmer right here is drawing your eye and like lifting my arch a little bit more? I can also do this with pearl. Crazy, right? How your eyes just drawn there. So then what I can do is go in with my cheeks. So this is all part of our glow. We're finishing up our glow. And for my cheek look today, I wanna go like a little warm. So I'm going to use this color, Ruby. This is a lip gloss. So with Glamazing, I'm gonna accentuate her. I have some golds and purples and pinks on in my eyes, so I think that this pink color will just be so beautiful. Um, we will do a lip tutorial, and I will show you this part. But for right now, real quick, I'm just going to contour my lips, creating a little shadow. And then I'm going to apply my lip. I don't wanna to go too dark. I just want her to be a nice flush, pinky pink. And we'll go over this brush too, cause it's my favorite brush. Now I already have some, uh, let me sing on there. So I'm gonna take Pearl and just center her on my lips, drawing your eye to the center of my lips. So we'll go over this too, but I just wanted to show you um, in the tutorial with Glow what else I can do with the illuminator. And then to finish me all off, something very light, because it can be very pigmented if you apply too dark and just swirl. See, nothing too crazy. You can still see my shimmer right here and it all is still pulling me up. A little lifting my face. So a little bit of sheen, a little bit of shimmer. Um, the other thing about illuminators is I get questions of, okay, so what's the true difference? There's the finishing difference. The other difference between the creams and the powders is that it is said if you have mature skin, stick with the creams. Why? Because the cream is not going to settle into your fine lines, um, whereas the powder may settle into your fine lines and the, all of that shimmer is then going to, while you're moving and you're laughing and your eyes are moving up and down, that shimmer is gonna fall into those creases and then you'll be able to I'll be able to notice them more so, um, which is why in our eyeshadow tutorial, I'll talk to you about shimmers versus matte and mature skin wearing the matte colors versus the shimmers. So there is your Ready, Set, Glow tutorial with our bronzers and illuminators to finish off the look. 
and I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll be happy to come back and answer them. If you're watching this later, hashtag replay so that we know you were here and you can get points for your prizes. So here's our swatch for the for today of the colors that we used and I'll go ahead and post the picture below. You ladies have a great day and I will see you on the flip side. Bye.